The New York Jets are in full-blown crisis mode. Just weeks after parting ways with head coach Robert S., the franchise has now made the difficult decision to fire general manager Joe Douglas. This is a shocking turn of events for a team that entered the season with hopes of a Super Bowl appearance, only to see those dreams unravel into what could be remembered as one of the NFL's most disappointing seasons. At the heart of the turmoil is Aaron Rodgers, the marquee acquisition who was supposed to lead the Jets to greatness. With everything that's happening, serious questions now hang over his future in both New York and the entire league. 2024 was meant to be the year of redemption for the Jets with Rodgers spearheading the charge. The franchise had carefully constructed a team built for a deep playoff run, but instead they've become the butt of every joke in the NFL. After suffering a painful defeat to the Colts at MetLife Stadium, the Jets now find themselves tied with the Patriots at the bottom of the AFC East something no one could have predicted, especially after the Patriots' disastrous preseason outlook. Aaron Rodgers, once hailed as the Jets' savior, has struggled to regain his MVP-level form. His Achilles injury in 2023 seemed to signal the start of bigger problems and unfortunately that has proven to be the case. At 40 years old, Rodgers has posted lackluster numbers this season, with only 2,442 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. While these stats might appear decent on the surface, they fall far short of the high expectations set for a future Hall of Famer. The decision to part ways with Joe Douglas is a clear indication that the Jets are committed to a full rebuild and essential step for a franchise that has been stuck in dysfunction for far too long. In a statement on Tuesday, Jets owner Woody Johnson confirmed the firing, expressing his gratitude for Douglas' six years of service to the team. I want to thank Joe for his dedication to the Jets over the past six years and wish him and his family all the best moving forward, Johnson said. As the team moves forward, Phil Savage will serve as the interim general manager for the rest of the season, and the search for a permanent replacement will begin immediately. Douglas leaves behind a mixed legacy. While he made great strides in the 2022 draft, bringing in talent like Sauce Gardner, Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall, his inability to find a long-term solution at quarterback proved to be his downfall. The high-risk gamble on Aaron Rodgers has certainly backfired, making it all the more clear that the Jets need a new direction. The Jets' issues, however, run much deeper than just their poor record. Reports have surfaced suggesting that many players have mentally checked out, with some even feeling as if it's time to end the season early. According to Snai, the internal dysfunction within the organization has created an environment where success feels unattainable, regardless of who is calling the plays or standing under center. To make matters worse, there is growing speculation about the future of team owner Woody Johnson himself. Rumors have been circulating that he may return to politics, which could pave the way for his brother, Christopher, to take the reins. If these rumors hold any truth, it would only add another layer of uncertainty to a franchise already teetering on the edge. For Aaron Rodgers, this situation only adds to the bleak outlook. Insiders are now suggesting that his time in New York may be limited, with the quarterback's future in jeopardy after just two seasons. According to ESPN's Rich Semini, the likelihood of Rodgers returning in 2025 is slim. With his $23.5 million cap charge for 2025 not guaranteed, the Jets could potentially cut ties with Rodgers without facing long-term financial consequences. One anonymous source bluntly stated, I'd be shocked if Johnson brings Rodgers back in 2025. If the Jets do decide to part ways with Aaron Rodgers, it would mark a shocking end to what was expected to be a fairy tale partnership. The acquisition of Rodgers, who was seen as the player to lead the team to glory, has now turned into a cautionary tale about the dangers of banking on an aging superstar. This season, more than any other, has revealed significant flaws in the Jets' organizational structure. The decision to fire both head coach Robert Sala and general manager Joe Douglas within weeks of each other highlights a clear lack of vision at the top. While Sala's time with the team was marred by inconsistency, his firing has done little to provide the stability needed to turn things around. Douglas, on the other hand, had some success, especially in the draft, but his failure to secure a long-term solution at quarterback has overshadowed his accomplishments. The Rodgers experiment, in particular, has been a disaster. What was supposed to be a short-term fix for the Jets has instead become a glaring example of how even the most talented quarterbacks can fall short when placed in a dysfunctional environment. The gamble on Rodgers has cost the team dearly, and the Jets now find themselves in a precarious position, trying to rebuild their shattered reputation. 
As the team looks ahead to the future, one of the biggest challenges they face is finding a viable quarterback to lead them out of this mess. The Jets' failure to develop young talent at the quarterback position over the years has left them without a clear succession plan. The rise of rookies like Drake May, now thriving with the Patriots, serves as a painful reminder of what the Jets could have had if they had made different decisions in recent drafts. But with the current roster and no clear successor to Rodgers, the Jets face an uphill battle to find a quarterback who can step in and be successful. Looking at Rodgers' potential future in the NFL, it's hard to imagine him joining teams like the Browns or Jaguars. While both franchises are known for their chaos, the idea of Rodgers fitting into their system seems almost comical. Plus, adjusting to their respective offenses would be a massive challenge for a player who's already known for his struggles with adapting to new systems. As for teams with a coaching staff like the Shanahan McVay tree, the fit seems even less likely. These teams emphasize collaboration and Rodgers' history of locker room drama and resistance to certain offensive styles would make him a challenging fit. While his talent is undeniable, his personality and declining performance might make him less attractive to teams looking for long-term solutions. As for the Minnesota Vikings, the idea of Rodgers playing for them is even more far-fetched. With the current front office focused on building a younger, cheaper roster, they have no reason to disrupt their strategy for a short-term gamble on an aging quarterback. The Vikings are laser-focused on developing young talent, and signing Rodgers to a deal that could take away from their long-term goals doesn't make much sense. Sure, the idea of Rodgers joining the Browns, Jaguars, or even the Giants would turn heads and have the football world buzzing. But let's be honest, Rodgers isn't the kind of quarterback teams will go to great lengths to acquire anymore. If he can't adapt to their systems or tone down his larger-than-life personality, his future in the NFL might become more of a punchline than a playoff story. Despite all of this, it seems highly likely that Aaron Rodgers will remain with the Jets for at least one more season. The team has no better option at quarterback and starting fresh with someone like Tyrod Taylor or another available veteran just isn't a practical solution. Even though Rodgers hasn't had the best year, his presence still offers more potential upside than any other quarterback the Jets could realistically sign. Additionally, it seems unlikely that the Jets would pass up the chance to draft a young talent and allow them to develop behind Rodgers for a year or two. This strategy would give the Jets a shot at competing in the short term while also building for the future. It's a smart play, balancing immediate needs with long-term vision. However, there's also a compelling argument for cutting Rodgers after this season, Taking the $49 million cap hit all at once might seem painful, but it could free up cap space and avoid carrying over those troublesome void years in his contract. A new regime could reset the salary cap, positioning themselves to rebuild with greater flexibility. While this isn't the most exciting option, for a team in need of long-term stability, it could be the best move. With only a few weeks left in the season, the Jets have little time to change the course of their future. Phil Savage, the interim general manager, will be focused on preparing the team for the offseason, as the team's immediate goal is simply to avoid becoming the laughingstock of the NFL. But the real question lies in whether Aaron Rodgers will decide to stay for another rebuilding season. After achieving so much in his career, the prospect of enduring another year with a team in disarray may prove too much for him to handle. As the Jets approach yet another overhaul, one thing is clear the franchise stands at a crossroads. The decisions made in the coming months will determine whether the Jets can salvage their future or remain trapped in a cycle of mediocrity. For Aaron Rodgers, the question is whether he wants to be part of that future or if it's time for him to close the chapter on his time in New York. So, what do you think? Should the Jets give Rodgers another season to try and turn things around or is it time for a complete rebuild? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take on the situation. This is a crucial point in the franchise's history and the decisions made in the coming months will shape their future for years to come. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all the latest NFL news and in-depth breakdowns. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.